It's the Pit Parade, the picture story of the Pittsburgh scene from the KDKA TV archives. You couldn't get there by subway then. You had to go by streetcar. The Stanley was everybody's destination when the big names were playing. Let it be and like the that, big sir. names were playing there by the score. Playing the score this night was Eddie Duchin and his orchestra. Swing was the thing in the 40s, and all the big bands played the Stanley. Glenn Miller. Harry James. Even Desi and Lucy performed together before the packed house. And Cab Calloway was there with Minnie. Here's a story about Minnie the Moocher. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. And who could forget the Andrews sisters? But there was more than music What's at the, the Stanley in the good old days. Everything from soup to nuts. These nuts were bending over backwards to play the Stanley. And this little lady really knew how to hang on to her man. Clifford C. Fisher's Follies Berger played this night with 75 gorgeous girls, 150 gorgeous gams, and yes, they can, can, can. Instrumental in Senor Wentz's act was a bass that sprouted wings, but we don't want to harp on that too much. Balancing out the evening was this unicyclist who showed that one good turn deserves another. Was it a case of stage fright? Or was this act simply holding out for more money? This was the tail end of the show before intermission. <laughs> and during intermission, you didn't have to walk a mile for a smoke. It was right across the street. Now, back to the show. More madcap antics on the Stanley stage with Ted Weems and his unusual orchestra. This duo gave new meaning to hitting the skins. Watch that rim shot. And back then, this parading pachyderm was bigger than Pavarotti himself. The stars were shining and signing at the Stanley Theater this week in the fabulous 40s.